ask you about something that came up in the in the uh, Republican debate. Jeb mm. Bush said one thing was true about his brother. He kept America safe. Do you agree with that? I think it's a complicated uh, question because, of course, 9-11 happened. I was a senator from New York, and I uh, was, you know, basically consumed by my responsibility to help the people directly affected in, in my state and in the city. So it did happen. And then I um, do give uh, President Bush, uh, you know, credit for trying to bring the country together around the threats that we did face. I've said the war in Iraq was a mistake. I supported what happened in Afghanistan. So if you sort it all out, you know, it's a mixed, yeah. it's a mixed picture. Let me take you back to the 2008 campaign mm -hmm. where Iraq was a conversation, U right. U.S. security was a conversation. You ran an ad, the 3 a.m. ad, yes. which became quite famous. Let's play yes. that for our my our gosh, viewers. I haven't seen that in a long time. <laughs> yes, well, it's a throwback <laughs> Sunday here. <laughs> it's 3 a.m. and your children are safe and asleep. Who do you want answering the phone? I'm Hillary Clinton, and I approve this message. <laughs> so the question for you is, now you've been Secretary of State, right. Benghazi. Right. Was that your 3 a.m. phone call? And, and how well did you handle that crisis by the standard you raised in that ad? Well, of course it was a crisis. And we lost uh, four brave Americans, uh, including you know, the person that I asked the president to send as ambassador, Chris Stevens. But we live in a dangerous world, and even our diplomats are at threat. And that goes all the way back to, you know, for goodness sakes, taking over our embassy in Tehran or the bombings of our embassy in Beirut when President Reagan was in charge. This is a dangerous world. And I think what we had to do during that period of time in trying to, you know, protect our people after the attack on the consulate, getting them evacuated, um, not only working on what was going on in Libya, because remember, we had embassies that were under attack or threatened to attack uh, by terrorist groups across North Africa, indeed across a much larger swath of the world. So I think, you know, it was terribly um, tragic what happened. Uh, I immediately asked for an independent review, just like former secretaries mm -hmm. of state did. And I made that public. And the only other person who did that with Secretary Albright after our embassies were bombed in Africa. So my view on this is we have to learn things. And, and we're always learning. We learned after Beirut. We learned after Tanzania and Kenya. We have learned after Benghazi. But we're not going to be able to represent the United States um, working out of, you know, hermetically sealed uh, tanks. We're going to have to be out in the world.